I have just had a phone call from Hank, who has been telling me that he's just been annihilated by Manon in a race around Castle Coon Racetrack. Annihilate might have been my word, but still. Anyway, he was riding a road bike. Manon was riding a recumbent bike. Uh, his suggestion, I've just jumped in the car with a time trial bike on the roof to see if we have finally found a match for it. Oh yes, you will remember that a time trial bike has dispatched four road riders working together. All right, three and a half road riders working together. But either way, we know from it the value of aerodynamics. The thing here though is that a recumbent is even more aerodynamic than a time trial bike. However, it's much harder to put out as much power in a recumbent, certainly for a road rider, because we're just not used to sitting in that position. So, will the added power that you can get out on a TT bike offset the improvements of a recumbent bike? We're gonna find out pretty quick. Where is Manon anyway? <laughs> there she is, check you All out. Right, si. Cool, isn't it? It's very cool. You're finished, Richardson. This is the Milan SL, the fastest Velomobile money can buy. It is record breaking, and this is the perfect machine for me to annihilate Simon with comes in at a weight of 24 kilos. We've got 20 inch front wheels and a 26 inch rear wheels. It's got a massive 62 tooth chain ring on the front and a 42 little ring. And it's gonna be the perfect gear for me to just put all the watts away and wave goodbye to Simon. So just an example of how quick this actually is. I only have to do 160 watts to go 50 kilometers an hour. How many watts have you got to do, Si? 300 and something. <laughs> I am once again riding GCN's Orbea Ordu TT bike. Now you might be quite familiar with this by now. It has been victorious in two versus one. Hey. Oh, no this way. is my aero dance! Three versus one. Oh. And four versus one. 12 minutes 59, there was two Whoa. seconds in it! Oh. Unfortunately, it didn't manage to beat Pro on a road bike in the amateur on a TT bike vid, but uh, anyway, we'll draw a line over that one. Now, it isn't fully optimized in that I've only got 55 mil deep wheels on here and not a full blown disc and a deep section front wheel, but crucially, it forces me, the rider, into an optimal aerodynamic position. I've also got my Giro TT helmet. What I'm not gonna do today, though, is slip into a skin suit because it's absolutely freezing. So I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice a few watts just so that I don't get hypothermia. Right, Si, you ready? I'm ready, always. Three, two, one, go. Is that all you got? <laughs> Oh man, tell you what, it's nice doing a TC on smooth tarmac for once. It's still those crappy lanes. We go down in the two versus one. That was, that was good fun, that. It'd be even better fun if I win. Keep things crossed. 
So I know what time Simon did and I think I can beat him. I've had a bit more practice in the recumbent now than when I went up against Hank in the road bike. So it's going to be all down to the technique. I reckon I can go that little bit faster around the corners. That's probably where I was lacking before. So yeah, I think it's doable. It's probably the biggest race of my career, this. <sighs> Okay, man on. I'm good. You ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go! Ah! Right, head up to speed. Legs are burning already. Oh my god. No. I don't think I did. Rematch. Need a rematch. I can do better than that. Right, so Manon, what was my time? 3.55. 3.55, okay. You happy with that? Yeah, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Okay. Yeah. Break it to me, what, what time did I do? Three. Oh. Fifty. Nine. Oh! <laughs> so close! Oh! Well. Sorry, man. How was it? Well, I was improving every time. Well, yeah, to be fair, yeah, you shaved some need time. I've a few off. more practices and I think have it nailed. Yeah, how was it that time around? Um, st still a lot of room for improvement. I think I still had my cranks a little bit too long, so I come in. A bit more power at that. And still, still got a little bit scared on the corners, you know. Yeah. I need to trust it a bit more. Yeah. Well, I'm up for a rematch, man, on any time. And if you want to bring someone else, maybe two of you, take on one of me. That's, that's absolutely fine as well. So, uh, yeah. Until one next day, time. One day, we'll have you. <laughs> that thing's a serious machine as well. It is. Fair play. And you look cool in it as well. Oh, thanks. That's all right. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video as much as we have making it. Uh, if you have, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any other suggestions on how we can beat Sai, please leave them in the comment section below. I think measuring ankle diameter is probably a surefire way of getting me. <laughs>